incredible how is this possible two videos two videos what the hell are you doing dev uh, i have my i have the energy so i thought why don't I do some more song posture impressions you know so if you remember sorry but it's not so, uh, last time we covered Quirillas on this hand uh, Lur on this hand Hindi Oud Nasha on this forearm and Vetiver Blanc on this one uh, Incredible, I've been floored Let's see where this takes us next So, let's take out number 23 which is Tabac Grand. Interesting. Tobacco fragrance. Wow. Okay. So. Tobacco fragrance. Let's give it a sniff from here. Okay. Okay. So. Uh-huh. That is uh, interesting. So. Give it, a, give it a good old swipe. So we'll we'll let it sit. Look at this beautiful color, kind of a cola colored, you know, caramel colored. So color here as well, very brown, very stainy. So let's see. How this fares. Hmm, super, super fruity. It kind of feels like a chicken marinade. Like a very sweet, jammy chicken marinade with a lot of. It isn't as Baroque as his other compositions, but it still is very beautiful smelling and soft and polite. It might, it might be giving off some wine, but I'm not, not sure. Yeah, this... This is an incredibly sweet, in a fruit compote kind of way. But it's not gourmand, at least I don't think it is. This, I think it's 23? Yes, it is 20, 23, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this, this is a... At least from here, this tobacco is even l less dry than Bartnikov's Tabac Doré, which I own a huge decant of if you have not seen it already. This Tabac Grand. It's really almost culinary. That is... Wow. That's... Whew. Who would wear this? Who would wear this? Honestly, I could see a chef wearing this. I could see like a bit of a playful chef kind of wearing this. Like, it's it's got a bit of a teriyaki <laughs> teriyaki thing to it. It kind of smells like teriyaki. That's that's hilarious. It smells like teriyaki. I can't. Very, very interesting. I have not smelled a perfume that just smells like teriyaki. That's not just teriyaki. There's those, there's things here. There's a bit of a... There's this kind of... Zing and... and, and zing and sweetness that kind of brings in mind red berries. 
you know, like a, maybe like a cranberry kind of sour and, and yet there's still this foundation of a very thick, soupy. It smells umami. It really smells like umami, like he just sprinkled in some MSG in here. God, that's hilarious. I'm I'm getting some more kind of boiled, you know, cooked citrus, a little like mulled wine kind of thing to it. You know, the kind of the, the blood oranges floating on top of some mulled wine. It's getting a lot, a lot less teriyaki now, and more like a yeah, like a like a fruit jam right now. And it's it definitely is um, something to consider. <laughs> I, honestly, this kind of smells like a man in a coat, like a man in a formal coat would wear, would wear this, you know? Oop, kind of touched my nose to this, but... Yeah, this has a lot of... Uh, it's just, It's a very gooey warmth, and... This kind of smells... It has a dark purple color in my mind. Like a man who wears all dark purple. You know, not like... You know, Dr. Plum or whatever the guy in Cluedo is. Not like that. I'm just saying... Like a deeply, almost black kind of purple coat. With, you know, like, like a fitting cap and... Some very dark pants to go with it. It's... It is a very... Hmm... It is a very... Wow. What, what emotion am I feeling from this? Nostalgia? This kind of smells like nostalgic, like like bittersweet, like he's thinking about a love that he had, which he now doesn't have. You know, they're, they're both different people, and now there's people back then, and they're different people now, and so they went their separate ways. And yet there's still that speck of him that wants to go back to how things used to be with her. So I don't know, maybe he drowns his sorrows in whiskey and and some, some plum jam and... Honestly, not a lot of what I'd say t tobacco smells like in terms of like a dry... Maybe it's a kind of, you know, sweet tobacco uh, in, you know, more mass appealing fragrances like, like, like pure, pure Havana, maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. It's just... Wow. To think something this small could gonna pack that much, you know, oomph and impact behind it. I am floored. I'm floored. Just wow. Wow. Where the fuck did I put the devil? Maybe it's this one? I'm not sure. Oh my god, I should have written the number. I sh really should have written the number. Oh, never mind, I found it. It's got a bit here as well. Let me just mark it down so I know which one it is. This is number 23. Sorry that I'm doing a bit of an impromptu thing. Let's write 23. 
Yeah, I can, I can kind of see it. Okay, that's 23 tabacon. <laughs> so, I keep coming back to it. Wow. Anyway, next sample is... Four, is it 14? No, I think it's 24. It's 24. It is 24. 24. Which is... Sohan Diris. Sohan Diris. Or maybe it's... it's oh, so I'm not sure. That's a lot of... That's a lot of juice. That's a lot of juice, my man. Huh. That's a... Uh, Okay, and this is the dabber that is clean and unmarked. Presume, I presume. So, uh, how should I? Just like this. The, 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 okay, open it up. Oh, strong smell from here. It might even be 14, I'm not sure. I'm so not sure. It might even be 14, I'm really not sure. So, dip it in. And swipe it. Swipe or no swiping, swipe or no swiping. So. Let's get a bit of a you know, dab cam, you can see glistening, oiled up. I really don't know if it's 14 or 24. Can you, can you see it? Oops. I don't know, maybe it's 24, I'm not sure. I'm getting, I'm getting cold. I mean, it might. I'm really not sure at this point. Maybe it's, maybe it's 24, you know, maybe it's Andres, but. This has the, a kind of floral, and and this is like a marmalade candy you know a bit of a kind of turkish delight kind of texture to it in terms of how it, sm it smells to my nose let's let's recharge for a bit It has this soft sweetness to it, but it also has a green and kind of, you know, gentle demure flower to it. I really have no idea if it's ensemble or or so angies, but it is just how does he do it? How do you do it, Sultan? Wow. That's what the This might be like the smell of a What is it the smell of? I don't know. College student on a weekend. Nah, I don't get that. 
it is very much like a flower and and food candy type of smell. I don't really see anyone in particular wearing this because it's more of an abstract concept than a, than a, than a than a character in my mind. I don't know. Maybe someone who uses a, a hand fan, you know, one of these, you know, opening, folding fans. You know, either someone incredibly, you know, posh a, in Europe or someone who, you know, lives in East Asia. This just leaves me perplexed and confused. There's a lot going on to create this this structure of a kind of candy coated you know flower or fruit to it. It's just I have no idea. I'm stumped. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one before I, like stay on this. Because it is very much, like I said, I'll just sum it up. The kind of cold waxy iris with a fruit marmalade candy type of Turkish delight chew feel to it. Um, what the hell? What the hell? Anyway, 24. Let's go ahead and, and give it a right, right on. Right on, right on. So... 24 What the hell man what the what the hell man what the hell man you can't be doing this to me You cannot be doing this to me Anyway next sample is Number 18 did I do number 18 already? I did not we're doing Ud Duce Amre Oud Duce Amere. Finally enough, the Oud that we did in the previous video was also the, uh, the third vial. V-I-A-L, not V-I-L-E. These aren't vial. I mean, the, 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 they kind of had a poopy thing to it, but I'm not sure. Anyway, we're doing forearm now. Jesus, be very careful not to spill anything. So, dip it in. Swipe it. Close it. Show you guys the juice color. It's kind of an orange. Uh, you know, orange brown kind of amber color. You know, if we're comparing it to Sanyiris, it is lighter. Sanyiris, to my eyes, even seems a little redder, you know, more scarlet. So, let's give a Oud Duce Amere a bit of a, a sniff. It's, it might be an Oud Rose, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's, it, yeah, it's an, maybe it's an Oud Rose, I'm not sure, it's a, I mean, it's a very nice kind of burnt oud. Has a leathery feel to it.
definitely not as as fecal as Hindi Oud Nasha. It doesn't have the salty Play-Doh-ness or the kind of uh, kind of ripe, very overripe fruits thing to it. It's actually a very nice kind of slightly burned oud. I mean, this just kind of seems like, I don't know, something Russian Adam would swipe on himself. You know, not, not from his own line, but like something that, you know, someone who's really into oud oils will swipe on himself. Or maybe not even like someone who's into oud oil, just like kind of a... This really seems like... Like an oud for people who are afraid of oud, in my mind. It still fits the profile of... Woody and a bit repulsive, just a bit resinous. But overall, I think maybe it has a rose in it that kind of keeps it, not keeps it, but like it, it kind of, you know, provides something else. It doesn't bring it into the uh, fecal, uh, you know, area of oods. It's yeah, this just just kind of smells like a young Arab dude. Maybe he's has got a little money, bought his first oud oil or something. I don't know. It's a very pleasant, pleasant oud. Not sure I'd wear this, but for what it is, it's a very soft spoken classy oud so like for having oud in the name and comparing it to hindi oud nasha oud duce amre is leagues softer yeah it's just wow it's got a little bit of smokiness to it But it is overall uh, a very pleasant, woody smell. You could, I don't feel like going and trying to pick out any nuances because I can't really detect any other than this is a very pleasant, very pleasant, polite, classy oud. Yeah, I really enjoy it. What number was it? Uh, 18, I think. 18, yes. Oud duce amere. Let's go ahead and write 18 on this. There we go. And last one is, first of all, let's see, make sure it's closed so no oil leaks. For fuck's sake, I paid over 100 pounds for this. This better not leak. Not like for this sample, like the whole set, but nothing should be lost with these, the, these oils. Just wow. Oh, found a little air pocket, glad I closed it. So, the last one is going to be uh, this one. Eight, never mind, I've already done eight. I think I've already done eight. I have done eight, so we're, we're not doing eight. We are doing. What's this? What's this? four? Did I do four? Aurum Dankor. Dankor. Jesus Christ. I've heard a lot of good things about Aurum Dankor. Who we? So. I'm gonna switch hands. Just like this. Sniff it from the cap. Also has a bit of the teriyaki thing to it. Interesting. 
So, dip it and stick it. Come on, stick it. I mean, I mean, look, I'll just pray it's hermet hermetically sealed, okay? So, Mm. Huh. Wow. Sure, we had a good kind of teriyaki thing, but I also get a very nice kind of what maybe jasmine? Not sure, but this kind of it's uh A little, yeah, a little bit of the kind of white, floral, creamy, uh, delicate leaf, uh, petal kind of thing. It is super, super, super pretty. Very ambery, resinous. It has a kind of, it is actually a bit brighter than Tabacon. This has a sunset tint to it, like. Like very, it's it's light, but it also is, it's like sufficiently ambery to where it conjures up in my mind the kind of hue of an early sunset where it's not like going to pink and red it's it's more like in the orange space you know the sun is orange the sky is turning orange there's a bit of that milkiness that i find in sandalwood from stuff like arrige ladores well that's not really arrages but like you know his his utter that he sourced you know the motia one it's kind of that little, you know, kind of soft, wet wood chip to it. Still has a bit of a teriyaki vibe, which I think is a, might, maybe like a certain natural tobacco material. I'm really not sure. I'm getting a bit of a burnt thing as well, maybe... Maybe a rose? Um, maybe. But. This kind of smells golden. It really does smell golden. Oh my god, Aurum Angkor. The gold of Angkor. Cambodia. Wow. Yeah, this, this smells like a person adorned with gold jewelry. Very ornate jewelry. I see the vision. I see the vision. Wow. It is. It is a, yeah, a very, it, it, it might be like a Khmer, Khmer. Um, you know, a Khmer aristocrat, you know. I, I can't say, you know, it's basically Khmer, you know, the, the Cambodian peoples. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of pretty stones indented in the gold jewelry and all that. Just very ornate, regal but oriental uh, royalty. Interesting. So let's go back to what was the first one we did? It wasn't. It was it Tabacon, or was it something else? Twenty three. Oh, it's twenty three. Tabagon. We also ah yes, it was Tabagon Sandiris. Yeah, okay. So Tabagon, go back to Tabagon. It's darker, much darker, much softer. 
a bit of a there's a bit of kind of greenness kind of plant plantiness that's kind of coming out but i'm really downing myself here still very deep in teriyaki, teriyaki zone which is still hilarious going back to what i think is so andiris oh yeah way more irisy now so much more irisy It hasn't changed much, but it is noticeably more floral right now. It's taking on that very light purple tinge that, you know, iris, to my nose anyway, kind of imparts in a perfume. It's still very much in the kind of I even say it's like old lady candy. Like it's it resides in an old woman's house. And it even kind of takes on the personality of the old house. It tastes old. Whatever that would mean to you. And then after that we had... Where is it? There it is. Oud uh, Duce Amere. It's... Actually, less woody and more floral now. Very European, as the name Douche Amere would suggest. Maybe incense. I'm really reaching for straws here, but... It smells... At this point, it kind of smells like you've burned some wood, but there's still a bit of like, you know, some, some maybe like some, some, some moss or something that's been burned right next to the wood. And you still get a waft of like a, a green, like maybe some shrubbery that's next to the log. But it, it really does give some, some light, some life in this, some, some... It somehow, you know, rejuvenates a dead environment for me. There's some, you know, it's a bit of like what, what the Sondre is trying to do with that kind of ash and green. But here it's like very dark woods. Not very, just lightly dark woods with a very nice, you know, floral leafy, I'll say extra to it like a like an actor you know that's kind of in the background and he's he's doing his part he doesn't have lines that's you know that's the the the, the, the significance uh, you know the the role that this uh you know floral natural uh green part of udu chamara is doing and last but not least is, um, fuck, what was it? Oh, shit, shit. Uh, da, 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 da. it was Aurum Danko. It's, the sun is setting, the sun is setting. It's, it now has a, a redness to it. I'm getting way more of a of a white flower and sandal thing now, maybe. And yeah, it's still very much stuck in that that Eastern uh, aristocracy royalty, actually. Nobility. It's. It's the smell of an arranged marriage. It's the smell of an arranged marriage, you know? All the gold is the presents that the, 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 the royals give. The royal, a royal wedding that they don't want to be in. But they have to, because they're royal. Ah, <sighs> Pasha, Pasha, Pasha. Uh, that's it for the video. I can't do this. I will do more later, but like every single one of these 
just takes me a while to understand and like Jesus should I s are you liking these videos am I doing them correctly you know please leave your comments down below also like and subscribe if you haven't whatever Pasha that's all I have to say Pasha thank you and goodbye